What is going on guys? My name is Kasim and welcome back to the channel. So if you're new here, I do videos on tech and smart home tech. So do consider subscribing because it really does help my channel. Anyway, in my last video, I talked about the Nest Mini and how I love automating my home with it. In that video, I spoke about the tech and smart plugs. Now I wanna do a quick little video to help you guys get these set up the right way download the right app and set them up for Google Home and also for So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing that we need to make sure is to get the right app. So when I got these, I just assumed that it would be the Tekken app and I know that's silly, but I went into the app store on my iPhone and I realized that that app literally does nothing. So the right app, whether you're on iPhone or Android, it's called Smart Life. Now the links are gonna be down below, so I have links for both the Android one and the Apple one. So make sure you download the right app. All right guys, so once you've got the app downloaded, you're gonna wanna open it up and you'll be greeted with a main screen that is gonna ask you to create an account. So in that, you need to make your account and use whatever email you want so that we can proceed to the next step, which is actually setting up the smart plug. All right guys, so now we just need to find an outlet, get our smart plug and get this thing plugged in so that we can get it all paired up inside the app. All you gotta do is get this plugged in. So you wanna make sure that this light comes on and is flashing. Next, you're gonna go inside your app and you're gonna hit the plus icon this is gonna take you to a screen where it's gonna show you all the types of plugs that Tekken offers, and you're gonna have to choose which one you have. So I have the socket Wi-Fi one, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit that one. All right guys, so next you wanna go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password. Now your internet should be running at a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. That's very common because that is what is supported by this plug. Now, if it's running at a different gigahertz, like five, then you need to go into your router settings. And that's gonna be dependent on your router and your internet service provider. But you should be fine. You shouldn't have any trouble there. So go ahead and put in your password and hit next. Now, once you hit next, it's gonna ask you if this plug is blinking fast or if it's slowly blinking. So half a second per blink or two seconds per blink. It's blinking fast. So if you look at this light here, it's continuously flashing. So this is blinking at half a second's time. So we're just gonna select that and it's gonna go ahead and scan it and add the device. So see how that light's gotten solid now? So should be set up and ready to go. There we go. We are all done here. But now you can actually go into this thing, hit this up top. All right, the name part is actually really important, guys. So be decisive with this because whatever you name it inside of this app, that is what is gonna be picked up by Alexa or Google when we go ahead to link it. All right, guys, so you should have your smart plug all named and all ready to go. So once you've done that, we're gonna start setting this up with Google Home. Now, I've already had these linked to my account. So what I did for this video was I unlinked my accounts just so I could show you guys how to properly do it. So let's start with the Google Home and then we'll do Alexa as well. So you guys are gonna see my screen somewhere around here, all right? So let's get into the Google Home app, open that up, and in the top left, you're gonna see a plus icon. Now. Normally when you set up devices, you're gonna go into set up a new device, but since we've already set up the Smart Life app and the smart plugs inside of it, we don't need to do that. We just are gonna say, we have something already set up, we just wanna link it, okay? So go ahead and select that, have something already set up. Now, we're gonna be prompted with a search icon, so just hit that search icon and you wanna type in smart life with a space in between. The space is important. I was trying to do it without the space first and it does not work. All right, so the second app 
you're going to notice that the icon looks exactly like the one that we downloaded earlier so go ahead and select that second one all right so now you're going to be prompted to the page where it's going to ask you to log in now this is weird the way that they've set it up because for some reason they ask you for your phone number even though you don't use that to sign up so i just went ahead and put in my phone number the first time but that doesn't work now regardless of whether you're putting in a phone number or not it's gonna have that plus one on the left side so just ignore that and just type in your email and type in your password and you guys will be fine so we're just gonna throw in our email put in our password and obviously I've taken the screen down for this part because I don't want anybody to see my account. All right, so then we're gonna hit link now and it's gonna take us to this page where it's gonna ask that if we wanna allow Google to authorize, right? So give Google the permission to see your devices, to control them and everything. So we wanna just go ahead and hit authorize. All right, so now it's gonna say Smart Life is linked and it's gonna give you an option to select which device you wanna go ahead with. So I've got two, I've got that room fan and then I've also got the smart plug that we set up today. So you're gonna to have to select these individually and then put them inside a room. So let's go ahead and select that first one, the Smart Socket 2. We're gonna choose the home that we want it in and then you're gonna choose which room does this device go into. So go ahead and choose the room and hit next. All right, so now that's it. You're done with that first one. Now you can repeat this process for as many plugs as you have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat it for my room fan. We're gonna put that in my room and we're all set. So now if you scroll down into the room that you added these plugs, you're gonna see them available right in there. So that's it. That's all it takes to set up these smart plugs inside of Google Home. So now once you've got them, now you can actually prompt Google to turn on or off these smart plugs. Again. All right, guys, so we are back at the socket that we set up earlier today. So this is the one right inside of Google Home. So right now it's on. If we just hit off, it'll turn off. If we hit on again, it'll turn on and off and on and off. So you guys get the idea, it's really that simple. So now this socket can be either controlled through the app or with your voice. All right guys, so that's how easy it is to set up the Smart Life Smart Plug with Google Home. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump onto Alexa. Alexa is pretty much the same process, but what we're gonna do is go inside the skills and link that Smart Life app with Alexa so that she can now know the skill and access those smart plugs or whatever devices that you wanna link with the Smart Life app. So again, you guys are gonna see my screen somewhere around here. All right guys, so what you wanna do is open the Alexa app and go into devices. Once you get to devices, in the top left, you're gonna see these three bars so go ahead and click that and it's gonna bring up a whole menu and list of options that you have. So click on skills and games. And under here, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with Google Home. We're gonna search for the Smart Life app, okay? So let's go ahead and hit that search bar and type in smart space life and click search. All right, so the first result that you guys should get is the Alexa skill for the Smart Life app. Now go ahead and click that. Now it's gonna bring you up to the next menu, which is gonna ask you if you wanna enable the skill to use. So what this is basically doing is the same thing that we did inside of Google, to where you're gonna now link your Smart Life account with Alexa so that it can access all those devices. So let's go ahead and click enable to use. And now this is where it's gonna bring up the next menu and have you log in. So you wanna go ahead and log in with your email address and your password. All right, so now it's gonna take you to another screen which is gonna ask you to authorize. So do you want Smart Life to authorize Alexa to be able to access and change your devices? 
So go ahead and click Authorize. And now Alexa is going to start looking through your Smart Life account to find whatever devices. And it should find those exact same two that we found under the Google Home app. Okay, so now Alexa has found our device. So we're just going to go ahead and hit Set Up Device. And we're not going to choose any kind of group to put this in. We're just going to go ahead and skip that part. So now if we go under plugs, we're gonna see those two plugs that we set up. So we've got room fan and the smart socket. So same thing like before, if we turn this on, it'll turn that smart socket on. And if we turn it off, it'll turn it off. All right guys, we are back at that smart socket too that we set up earlier. So let's see how we can use Alexa to turn this thing on and off. Let's go into our Alexa app. We're gonna go into plugs and turn on the smart socket. And there we go. You'll see that smart socket is now on and we can turn it off. And then we can also do it with our voice. So turn on smart socket two. Okay. Alexa, turn off smart socket two. And that's all. That's how easy it is. All right, guys, that does it for me today. I really hope that you got to see how easy it is to take smart plugs and integrate them with your smart home. Whether you're using or Google, it's so simple and really a cheap way to take standard appliances around your home and make them automated. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.